Check, check, Audio check. Ein bisschen laut. Okay. Moment. Müssen wir einstellen. Der tolle Windows hat schon wieder vergessen, wie laut mein Mikrofon war. Äh. So. Ich glaube, so war das. Schätze ich mal. Ja. Starten wir eine neue Runde. Red Dead Redemption. Ähm. Mal gucken, wie weit wir kommen. Sind ja schon im Epilog, also eigentlich ist das Spiel schon durch. Ist bloß noch der Rest. Ja, speichern. Ich weiß nämlich nicht genau, wie lange diese Endstory hier mit John Marston noch geht. Ich hoffe, ich spreche das richtig aus. Ähm, willkommen, Tajinda was da kann. <lacht> willkommen. <lacht> willkommen, willkommen. Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> I'm getting up. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and... Oh, my God, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles is... Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Yes, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Mm -hmm. One moment. So, speichern. So. Den machen wir Fragecode. So, 
Wie war der Code gleich? Aha. Go. Pull out. Willkommen. Ja, Arthur ist tot. Jetzt bin ich ja hier John oder Jim Marston. Was soll ich jetzt machen? Frage im Saloon oder bei Mela? Na, voll laut, wie geht's dir? Mal gucken, wie lange das Spiel hier noch geht. Kopfschmerzen. Ich weiß nicht, ob dir das was hilft, aber wenn ich Kopfschmerzen habe, habe ich entweder zu wenig geschlafen oder zu wenig getrunken. Also jetzt nicht Alkohol, normal getrunken. Vielleicht hilft dir das ja weiter. Zu wenig geschlafen. Was denn nicht gut? Wenn ich unter, unter sieben Stunden schlafe, dann bin ich meistens auch nicht zu gebrauchen. Dann bin ich mürrisch und... Ich habe manchmal auch Kopfschmerzen, denn das ist nicht gut. Hast bis 5 Uhr mit L im Star Citizen verbracht. Eieiei. Was hat das mit dem Code auf sich? Naja, das ist so ein Gewinnspiel. Warte mal, ich zeig dir mal. Erstmal oben links da, mit Ausrufezeichen Sliver, kannst du feststellen, was Sliver ist und ein Code. Und das ist der Chat von Sliver und da habe ich so ein Gewinnspiel gestartet. Da sind drei so eine Sachen, ähm, kann man gewinnen und da muss man den Code, ein, äh, Code benutzen. Als Antwort, der äh, alle paar Sekunden hier unten, das sieht man jetzt gar nicht, hier unten erscheint alle... Jede Minute, zweimal in der Minute erscheint hier unten ein Code. Ist für die zu, äh, aktiven Zuschauer denn sozusagen besser, als wenn die Leute bloß mal kurz reinklicken und irgendwie was gewinnen wollen, haben die aktiven Zuschauer bessere Chancen. Und Silver ist halt so eine Plattform, wo man durch Zuschauen so eine Coins kriegt und die kann man dann in Gewinnspielen einsetzen. Ah. Gibt ja genug Leute, die dann bloß mal kurz reinschalten und was gewinnen wollen und die haben dann halt nicht so viele Chancen wie die Leute, die aktiv zuschauen. Habe ich mir extra so ein Skript gebastelt. Ja, ich kann ja noch mal kurz raustappen. Habe ich mir extra so ein Skript gebastelt, hat dann den Code anzeigt. Jetzt zeigt er zum Beispiel 10 Sekunden lang den Code an. Und dann blendet er den Code wieder aus. <lacht> Und diese Sachen, die ich da verlose, die kriege ich von der Plattform Sliver. Weil ich da so ein Sliver Star bin, da habe ich mich denn schon beworben und habe die erste Hürde genommen als Streamer. Da kriegt man denn, wenn man es beantragt, ab und zu mal so eine Sachen zum Verlosen. So, gucken wir mal. 
Also kann ich selber auch nichts mit anfangen, ne? Also die Sachen kann ich nur verlosen an andere. Aber hilft genug, dass ab und zu mal Leute reinschauen. Morning, Partner. Hey, Partner. Have you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah. Yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's... He's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Saint Saturnis. Was auch immer das ist. Ja, und das Schöne ist, dass ich, weil ich äh, kein Twitch-Affiliate mehr bin, kann ich auch an gleichzeitig so viele Streaming-Dienste streamen, wie ich möchte. Ne? Also kann man das verbinden. Überhaupt kein Thema. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real Redskin Brave. Klar, machen wir. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian record. Savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. You know what to do, is he's Micah! What's that? Yeah. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Oh, son of a What is it? Don't black out just yet. This is rigged or something. Oh, 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 oh. kill that bastard! <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf, whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, 
My sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, we'll just have a few earns to run. <laughs> Moin, Fastblade, Österreicher. Da hast du was falsch in Erinnerung. I'm not a Österreicher. <laughs> Northeast Germany. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? War trotzdem willkommen, auch wenn hier kein Österreicher ist. <laughs> Live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back. And Auntie La, welcome. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sissick. Thanks, mister. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. I never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. Go right on three. Mm -hmm. Three. Hmm. You couldn't have thrown that fire. Evidently. up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey -ya! Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. <laughs> Keep your eye out. Sam and I got for where you found. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. <laughs> Martelli will happily remind you of that. 
Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> Whoa! You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Speichern. Neuen Code gesetzt. like old times <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again let's just hope things don't turn out like last time there he goes what i tell you charles boy is as sour as weak old milk no wonder she didn't stay with you not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you that's the goddamn truth now you used to be decent company but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache all he does is whine whine Wow. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. Good horses. Pull the rain. Click, 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 click. Put your back into it. That's it. This way. That's it. Oh, this is easy. No. Go, go. into town buy ourselves a house right out of a book same as if it were a bicycle where in town uh, there's a fellow by the train store cakes hardwood and timber okay you keep working here uh, but if i don't go with you who's gonna just tell you need that a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping charles make him work whip him if you have to <clears throat> You know, I always do folders though. Okay, Missy. So, wo war das nochmal? Was ist das ein Steckbrief? Mal 
gucken. So, oh, neben gemischt waren Laden. Gucken wir mal. Hat ein Steckbrief von mir. You look like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Elias Green. situation with them mongrel dogs the Skinner brothers just when you thought this country had been civilized Hello you there. hear what they done up near tall trees might be where to look for him if you can sometime. stomach it I don't think you'll be bringing him in a lot sure okay So, hier ist der Metzger. Ist das hier oder was? Hola, Señor. Hi, Miss. Da ist der gemischt waren Laden. Das Tabakoladen hier. Okay. Newspaper. Hey. 
Employment Agency. Ist hier offen? Nee. Auch zu. Silver Stranger. Schneider Schlachter. Irgendwo gibt es doch das bestimmt. Meat Market. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Wer das hier ist, der das verkauft? Nee, hier gibt es wohl auch nichts. Wo gibt es denn hier die Häuser? Hm. Big Mill Construction. Hartwood und Timber. Okay, there. Office. Zu. 
Na toll. Du bist erbärmlich. Genau. Erbärmlich. Congrats. Wo kriege ich jetzt nun Haus? Uh, hier ist ja offen. Hallo, jemand zu Hause? Kann ich hier nicht kaufen? Senor? Alright. Hm, hm, hm. Evening. Hell, we ain't want no more trouble from you, you hear? Er, Mister, good evening. Buenas noches. Have a good night. Hallo, Bliro. Willkommen. Ah, alles gut bei dir? Foodshop. Ist zu, natürlich. Buenas tardes, Señor. Good evening. Buenas tardes, señor. Excuse me. Hello. You be well now. Ah. Evening, amigo. Howdy, mister. Howdy, mister. Ho, ho. Hello. Well, hey. Good evening. Evening. How do you do?
Evening, mister. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway. No news in that. Hello. Looking for a trim? Na klar, warum nicht? Why don't you again. take all your problems mm -hmm. somewhere How else? You, ladies? Evening, mister. Good evening. Hey there, miss. Fellers? Hey. Blackwater Boomtown. Read about it here. Hey. Even burn. Who can I get that? Kaufen. There's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. <laughs> and which are you, exactly? Me? My time. All three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I've given up on the job. It's just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. <laughs> Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Stop mind fat me. You're a good filly. That's a girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That a new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Had some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. 
It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no Next more. Divus, willkommen. I see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. Die ganze Nacht durchgeritten. Just a second, I hold me was to drink. Den Kamel. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you? I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right.
Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Damn this! John, help me find it. I think I see something. Yup, so music to me. There they are, down there. It's something that. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Lankin. The other fella just works for him. What do you think they're heading? Come on. Let's go follow them. You still go fucking dance. After the people, they gotta be rocking it undeniably. If you're loving what you're doing, refusing to love. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. Ja, bin ich mal gespannt, ob wir das Ding kriegen. Okay, let's move. 
Ich hab Wurfmesser. Oh. Hat sie schon gemacht, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Da ist ein Pferd. Oh, oh, oh. Ich sehe euer Kind. Nach da oben. Nach da oben. Da oben. Äh? What's it look like? Ah. What in the... Get on there. Ah. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You should let me alone. I got a feeling this time will be different, Finley. You ain't coming up for this town, you work. I know it as well as any other. You madman! Down the canyon. Let's ride.
Ja doch. Neue Riffel starten. Doch ein nettes Nebeneinkommen. Ach, hier geht's gar nicht durch. Ja noch gar nicht die Zelle. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. 
Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Aha. Mitkommen Pferd. Du musst hier offen. Hey. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. You take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. And you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. Oh. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fellow came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. Their skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skin is going to be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about Robin Caravan. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, 
Then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hot? First gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. Well, I'll sit here looking big and scary. And you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. So, what were you saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. Hey, wake up! I know this country well. Rencherito, welcome! Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil knows too. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a uh, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best, best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right then, Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. Everyone find some cover! Don't get the other Keep your head down! Who are these people? It's the sinner! You're dead! Shit! I got a round Willard, how you hold up? 
Eine Angst noch, wo bist du? Mit einer Machete. Oh. We have to get past them. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there first. Was? Oh nee, ne? Bin ich drei Schritte zu weit gegangen? Verdammt. Keep 
Keep going. Where's Wade? Mr. Wade! Can you hear us? Mr. Wade! Mr. Wade? Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No, not that time. Most folks don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan a few months back. Massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and put Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. You say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? 
But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Ich dachte, ich bezahle jemand dafür, der das aufbaut. Oh, jetzt muss ich nur arbeiten. Oh, jetzt muss ich noch. Trinken erstmal. So viel Nägel. Artet ja in Arbeit aus. And I think that's everything. Ein neues Jerusalem abgeschlossen, okay.
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. <laughs> well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Let's go, girl. Now, this fella probably saw you. So here's a corner of the country. Now, as I was saying, doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you this ain't even him. got furniture. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Right here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one's the yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, I hope. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. 
I really enjoyed begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I'm John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, that's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. Can we go now? So where were we? Ah, we fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh! That's what I am now, an employee. Mm-hmm, that's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am.
Oh. Das war knapp. <lacht> Das war knapp. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ich putze das mal meine Schwinte. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Bringt wieder ein bisschen Geld. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. What a girl you're becoming. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job.
Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Still alone. Holy was! What was it? Come on! The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. <sighs> Mount up. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> it's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A 
fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Whoa! Mm. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I wanna die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Shoot well, sagt sie. Wir haben wir Code 22, ne? Congratulations. Was haben wir noch schönes? Ähm Ähm Open. So, einen Schluck trinken. Ja, 
Ähm. Aua! Huch, das war ja Sadie. Er lebt immer noch. Just be. Son of a bitch. You was gonna say something. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Remember, you do the heavy lifting. Get him on a horse. We can get out of here before the buzzards show up. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. The Venomos <laughs> will not forgive this. Sixteen 
18, willkommen. We find you. <laughs> I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Wieso habe ich eigentlich so einen Sombrero-Hut auf? Das ist doch gar nicht meiner. Can't get enough of me. Put them in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride them to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. See you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. You say so. See you around, partner. Ich wollte doch noch Sachen kaufen. You'll be fine, girl. Stay put.
That was your holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us Hallera, welcome. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. Well, my guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. Cheat. <lacht> Steh auf, Pferd. So, what were you saying? I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do. Except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad. This might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Trees. Come on.
Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Look out? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Easy. Easy. Hold it. Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Ein Glück, die haben den Pfeil nicht gehört, der nicht getroffen hat. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay. Let's go. Done. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Uh, uh. Alright, gents! Rise is over! We're here for you! Let's get Uncle! 
You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here you go. Your head! Got him. Because here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on! Down that gully. I don't feel right. Up on the lawn! Get me out of here! Stay behind me! I think we're clear. Come on, get him on your horse. Move it. Move it. Come to me, you know. Verdammt. They're coming from the woods. Get the old. Get up there. We're taking you home. Let's get out of these walls. Fuck yeah! Get through them! Does it look okay? Uh. 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 We're out. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard! Oh man! How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. Long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I don't feel good. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Heißgas, willkommen.
You'll be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. <laughs> Always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new <laughs> rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! Säcke, welche Futtersäcke? Morning, brother. You happy here, Charles? It's a fine house. You got a fine family. Habe ich da gerade eine Kuh gehört? Da muss hier die Mistforke.
Die Kuh kann jetzt gemolken werden. Kuhmelken ist nicht verfügbar. E? Will er mich verarschen? Was die Aufgabe abgebrochen? What? Ohne Eimer keine Milch. Hallo Tanja. Ohne Meerwasser. Holen wir Meerwasser. Obwohl das Meer ja gar nicht so dicht ist. Das Pferd braucht bestimmt auch was zu trinken. Und wie geht's dir, Tanja? Alles okay? Noch mehr Wasser. Okay. Macht ja richtig Arbeit, so eine Rensch. Ja, ich hatte eigentlich gedacht, das Spiel geht nicht mehr so lange, aber läuft wohl offensichtlich noch länger.
noch die Hühners füttern. Du kannst jetzt deine Hühner füttern. Huch. Hey. Muss ich bestimmt da irgendwie reingehen, los wie? Wo ist hier eine Tür? Hier? Ah. Put, 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 put. Kann Eierkisten jetzt zum Wagen bringen, okay. Wo sind die Eierkisten nach da? Oder? Sind das Eierkisten? Nee. Hier. Das ist ja Schwesterarbeit hier. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> And I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <laughs> You're a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Ann! <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm sorry, I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> But tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if... John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her? Pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No. Hello, you power shooter. What else am I going to do? Welcome. Goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Write silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. 
Really, I am. I just thought she wanted to earn some money. How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Of course. You want to work? Let's do it. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. He must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's. Something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Long time ago. <laughs> We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of hope. Take a look around. Something's been here. This this looks looks like a bear. Something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. That's that way, I'd say. Great. Can you see which way he might have gone? A 
Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, <laughs> but looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one? Is he gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. So shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Ah. Ah. Holy shit. Ma'am, that weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Give him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... Ich hab wohl nichts zu essen bei. Always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Ugh. I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid, and your wife, are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash. Who's this up here? Is that, are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? Money on it? Get off the road. Look. I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. Get her! <laughs> this is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. 
It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you wanna hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. <laughs> Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Nicht zurückreiten. Gut. Morning, sir. Muss noch ein paar Sachen kaufen. So, muss der gemischt waren dann? Hier. Hey, throw some sense and move. Hello, sir. Oh, come on. It's an outstanding. Hey there, glad you stopped in. Ich brauche Essen. Nee, das nicht. Moment, kann ich nicht aus dem Buch kaufen? Alter, ich kaufe doch schon alles, was du hast. Und die Kohle habe ich gar nicht. Aber dann habe ich erstmal ein bisschen was, ne? for you to leave yet or for then. Hey. 
Ain't it time for you to leave yet, or...? Gut. Beim Laden der gekauft. Hello. Eine Möhre. Pferd ist wieder glücklich. So, hatte ich nicht noch irgendwo so eine Karte? Great Plains. Great Plains. Aha. Oh, Telefon. One second.
So. Da ist er wieder. Close Prediction. That's where. No. Close Revel. Grand Revel. Jo, was machen wir jetzt noch? 20 Uhr. Ähm. Machen wir noch so was? Und ein Co drauf. Ähm. Dann noch eine Prediction Code So. Hey, habe ich das Ziel nicht gesetzt? Ich habe auch eine Transportation unterm Arsch. Boah, nee, ne? Fug. Na super. Hat keiner gesehen, ein Glück. Scheiß Puma.
Boah, Pferd, gib doch mal Gas. Boah, da kommst du nicht hoch. Los. Oh nee, ne? Na toll. Hat sich das schon wieder verschoben. Na super. Ich wundere mich, warum ich da nicht hinkomme. What is what?
wollte gerade sagen, wo bist du, Freak? Alter, kannst du mal deine Wert ziehen? Hey, bleibst du stehen, du blöde Pferd?
Ich kann man ja ein bisschen abkürzen. Bisschen Geld verdienen wieder. Man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business up there. Best that they were stopped. I'll take it. You're making an old chief's life a little easier, you know? How about coming back in a while, picking up another poster? Yup, yup. Gut, mal wieder zur Farm zurück. Eingekauft habe ich ja. Mal gucken, was mit der anderen Mission da ist. John! John! 
What? <laughs> well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I, I need a few things for a home remedy. A few things like what? Oh, just some whiskey, uh, peppermint, uh, milkweed, uh, some hair grease, and uh, oh, some skunk meat. What? <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh, it's a long story, but it really hurts. I, if you're out and about and come across any of these things, well, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Thanks, John. Der heißt Hagel. Hey Jack, how about tomorrow we do something? Uh, okay, Paul. See you bright and early then. Okay. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? Oh. No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's 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 life. I, I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and help people. That... This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. 
That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, if I remember now, I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Come help you look. Well, this ain't like him, Paul. Can you go search the other side of the track? Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Is it all out? Spit it out! Get the poison out! Dad! Rufus, no! Swallow it. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. <laughs> Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Trick scooter. Ich hätte die Schlange ruhig essen können.
Easy. Lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I've got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Ma thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. How kind they are. Tell your mom and pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh, I ain't had a drink and... Well, I left those things behind. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat uncle. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. <laughs> So maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay then. Tortured it is. I 
I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. Background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look, pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. <laughs> You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That would be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Quiet. I thought you were a cowboy. A poser. No, I'm a poser. I learned from the best. That is true. How's this? Perfect! Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Going slim. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. 
<laughs> Bye now. <laughs> What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the Gibbons Theater. I love Marvel. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's, it's real fine doing normal things. Geht das hier rein? Ja. Come in. Thank you. What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart. I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. Mystery awaits. Das letzte Mal, wo ich im Theater war und das VOD dann auf YouTube hochgeladen habe, gab es ein Copyright Claim. Be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. <laughs> what? I'm watching. Please. Shh. Look so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. Is it over? I think so. Come on. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. <sighs> what, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. <laughs> I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think we're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought he was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. Don't look at me. Look at the sky. The water. Okay, I'm looking. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What is it? You... Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up, I am married to you. No, 
I mean, proper. In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know it mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Wie geht's weiter? Was hätte ich da noch besser machen können? <lacht> 7 Minuten 30 Sekunden. Wir speichern erstmal. Einachtzig Komma sieben geht wohl noch ein Stückchen weiter. Mäh. Eierkiste zum Wagen tragen. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the greatest apple farmer in the kingdom. Men used to travel all across Europe to eat his remarkable apples. But deep inside, he missed the dragons almost as much as they gave him nightmares. He and Princess Brea raised seven happy children, and none of them ever knew that 
their father had once been the bravest warrior in the world. The end. Keiner sagt was. <lacht> Ich würde sagen, wir haben noch genug für morgen. Genug Restspiel, um morgen weiter zu zocken. 83, 7 mal 2 Spielstände. Mache ich noch schnell. Was haben wir hier für einen Code gehabt? 1338, ne? Klos. Good luck. Congratulations for the winners. Gut. Charlie meldet sich ab. Ich bin morgen wieder da. Folgt mir auf YouTube oder auf Twitter. Und ansonsten sage ich bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci.